What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I appreciate you coming by the video because it is installment number seven of the race to six builders. And if I sound extra excited today, it's because I am doing my best to stay pumped up and excited for the only series on my channel that I actually do only because I have to. It's true, maybe I'm not that big of an enthusiast anymore of the builder base, but hey, everybody's gotta get six builders! I mean, it's free, you can get there without ever spending a penny, and it saves about 20% of your production time on the home village, so let's go get it underway and grind through in the most efficient manner possible, and that means it is time for Gold Pass Clash to go to Builder Hall 9. Yes, we are preparing to go to Builder Hall 10, sometime in, um, I don't know, the next century? No, honestly, there is no apparent plan for Builder Hall 10 yet. That is per Darian the last time I interviewed him. Make sure you check that out on the channel. And yes, by the way, I promise to bring you another interview like that as soon as there's any sort of hint or inkling of information that could be new or exciting. All right, so I don't want to bring you guys the same old content. I promise you the next time I talk to Darian on the channel, it's going to be for some exciting revelations. Okay, speaking of exciting revelations, did you see the battle machine getting an upgrade? It, are you not excited? No, hey, look at that. It's almost instantaneous. Next thing you know, it's already done. Level 19, and that means, well, okay. So we're at Builder Hall 9. We need to upgrade the Star Lab to level 9 because obviously we need to unlock, first of all, the level 18 cannon carts, but second of all, maybe some other troops to help us win battles. But okay, we'll get to that eventually. That's pretty expensive. So the free-to-play account now is still trying to catch up with the Mega Tesla upgrades that Gold Pass Clash was ahead on. And then you can see that I'm not showing you the entire battles, although I will get into a non-Dirty Baby Dragon spam battle in today's episode. I promise you, you can see here that we are doing pretty well with the level 16 Baby Dragons. It's just an easy way to get the loot done. And remember, the leagues don't make that much of a difference. The league bonuses are relatively small, so pushing to the next tier isn't going to really progress you that much more quickly. Although I would also say definitely upgrade your troops as you go through the Builder Hall levels that you're going to be attacking with, kind of like we do in the home village. Never rush your lab when it comes to the troops that you want to do battle with. It's okay if not all of them are fully maxed out, that's understandable. But if you go through life with everybody level one except for cannon carts, you're going to suffer, so do not do that. That is not the most efficient way to unlock this guy right here. This is where we're headed. Auto Hut, obviously lots of levels that we have not yet completed on Gold Pass Clash, but we will. And in fact, we may be the first of my two accounts to get the cannon carts to level 18. So what we're doing right here is we're going to spend some gold because we know we're about to have a builder tied up for several days getting that Star Lab to level 9. So we have, of course, the big discount, which is making a difference in time and in cost that I predict is going to get Gold Pass Clash to the sixth builder before No Cash Clash. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments which account you think is going to get there first. We will review, of course, at the end of the episode, each individual step, and you'll notice that each account has a lead in a different area right now. Okay, speaking of leads, Gold Pass Clash now has a level nine laboratory, but I do not have anywhere near enough elixir to take the cannon carts to level 17, Yet, I have plenty of extra elixir lying around, so like I said, we're going to get some other upgrades done, because remember, since you're forced to upgrade the cannon carts anyway, you might as well get some companion troops that go along well with cannon carts, and that would specifically be giants, barbarians, and bombers, and in fact, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use one of these power potions to boost the troops over here. Not going to do much in the home village, although it does, remember, boost both sides. This is how we can get some raids done and probably just go three for three, not have to worry about the 50% thing. So here we go. Boosted troops. We're going to switch out and not use baby dragons. Can you believe it? Okay. So let's see here. We're going to use, well, everybody is level 18 now. So we might as well go ahead and go with the cannon carts and then a few other ground troops. Now, what I'll do here is we'll mix it up. We'll go with a little bit of everything. So we're going to go with the giants, of course. Those are going to tank for the cannon carts. 
going to go with a couple of camps of cannon carts, a couple of camps of giants, and then bombers to get through the outside wall, and barbarians who, yes, can be pretty strong by themselves or in other troop combinations I like to use just to kind of test out, to pop the spring traps, to blow the mines so that we don't use giants or cannons to do that. So in go the barbarians first, then the bombers and the giants go down, the outer wall is gone, Battle Machine goes down, and then last but not least, the cannons. They're going to follow up and hope that everybody else triggers all the bombs, traps, and mines, and they can just roll in and also hopefully avoid the Lava Launcher. That is a bad one when you have one. Doesn't look like we're facing one right here, but in they go, and this should be a pretty easy three-star. Remember, I'm a brand new Town Hall Builder Hall, sorry, Builder Hall 9, and so I'll still be facing a lot of eights. I'm at a lower level of trophies than most nines are. So we should see easy battles in the beginning. In fact, it's a good argument for really not needing to use a power potion now that I think about it. In the beginning days of going to a new builder hall, you're likely going to rise in trophies naturally and then you could save it for later. It's, to be honest, pretty pointless to use the power potion over here unless you have really, really rushed troops then you're going to suffer. Right here, we're going to suffer because we didn't see that lab on the outside of the base. And if that causes me to lose on time, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Cannon cards get the job done. A minute 43 left. That's usually not enough for a win. It's like closer to two minutes if you're going to hope to beat your opponent to the three star. We did pick up the win anyway, miraculously, and we moved on. Did a couple more battles, tried level 18 baby dragons, which are, by the way, OP. That was crazy, just completely crushing bases. And uh, so we did rise a little bit in trophies today in Gold Pass Clash. But again, not really focused on trophies other than that first time that you want to push to 3,000 trophies to get the free gems. Beyond that, the leagues make very little difference, and you're going to find it just takes longer to finish the three-win bonus if you've pushed higher in trophies. All right, back to the free-to-play account, no cash clash, and yes, we did start the Star Lab on its way to level 9, so trying to play some catch-up over there on the free-to-play account, then back over to the Gold Pass account once again. You've got the Mega Tesla under construction, and here we go again. The Star Lab is ready. The cannon carts are going. Finally, this is not a huge upgrade, but at least it's on the list of things that we must do in order to achieve that sixth builder. So in this case, the Gold Pass account has passed no cash, and uh, it's looking good right now, even though the Battle Machine is, I believe, one level behind its opponent. On to the next day, Mega Tesla has completed level nine already. That's right. Okay, now, this is something that I did kind of let slide, and that is the gear ups over here at Gold Pass Clash. You've got to have those three gear ups, right? You've got to do the uh, Archer Tower, the Cannons, and the Mortars. We have not done the Archer Tower or the Mortar yet, and that is a long upgrade, a very long upgrade, and also, of course, it occupies the Builder from your Builder base the entire time. So we'll wait to do that at some point after we get, yes, an Archer Tower to level six. So I kind of slipped on that one. That is definitely a good reminder for you guys to max out at least one Archer Tower at every Builder Hall level on your way up so you don't have to play catch up like I just did. Okay, time to check out the status report and we'll see where both accounts stand right now. The trophies are pretty similar right here, even though Gold Pass Clash does have the higher Star Lab right now. Also, tracking the Cannon Carts, Battle Machine, Mega Tesla, and Gear Up count. We'll see how that's going. So far, so good. But right here, Cannon Carts, lead is for Gold Pass Clash. Battle Machine, the lead is for No Cash Clash. Over to the Mega Tesla, where Gold Pass Clash again has a one-level advantage. And then Gear Ups, No Cash has two done, and Gold Pass only has one. Thank you, True Hashtag Galifan, for watching this episode all the way to the end. I hope that you are enjoying this series more than I am. Now get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Fuller Attacks.